Assalamualaikum children and welcome to another episode of Qasas al -Atfal. My name is Samira and I'll be keeping you company for the next whole hour. Now this is our special time where we get to learn the fun way. We read stories and we watch cartoons and we learn about everything around us. Come a little closer, hold my hand. Let's go to that secret place where there's no adults allowed. Let's learn about Islam and Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Let's dream about Jannah and find ways to make Allah happy. Today children, let's start off with JJ the Jet Plane. children did you enjoy that let's go watch another cartoon now it's time for postman pat welcome back children look who we have in studio assalamu alaikum himarun Waalaikum Salah, Samira. I'm so happy to be in the show. Hey, we back again, we back now, we back again. We're gonna do it so nice today. Hoo-hoo, yippee! <laughs> I love when you sing that song, Himaran. Sing it again. We back again, we back now, we back again, we back now. We're gonna make it so hot in the show. We back again, we back now, we back again. Yippee, yippee, yippee! Alhamdulillah. Children, are you happy that Himarun is back? Tell me, Himarun, what are we going to do today? Hey, Samira, I will be teaching a nice lesson today. Are you ready? What lesson is that? And yes, I'm ready. Before I tell you that, I want to find out if my friends out there are ready. They ready. Let's go. Today, Samira, I will be teaching about teachers. Teaches children, children, teachers, teachers, children, teachers. You know what that means? <laughs> we are going to be learning about teachers today, and that will be so funny, you know, and interesting. Let's go then. All about teachers. Yes, you are right. All about teachers. We all have teachers. We all go to school. And our parents are like our teachers. Okay, so we're ready to roll now. We all learn to respect our teachers. They are like our parents. We listen carefully to what they teach us. We do what they tell us to, Samira. MashaAllah, that's right. We do listen to our teachers. We listen to what they tell us and we love to learn from them. Himarun, yes. do you have a favorite teacher? Yes, my teacher's name is Mahmoud. Your teacher's name is Mahmoud? MashaAllah, I hope he teaches you well. What else do you have in your lesson for us today, Himarun? Yes. Our teachers help us to learn many things. They try to make us good. They are very happy when we are good. They want us to be successful in life. We must learn to love them. Our religion teaches us to respect our teachers. MashaAllah, and yes, that's right. Our religion teaches us to respect our teachers, to be good to our teachers, to be loving to our teachers, and always to remember to listen when they talk because they'll teach us good habits, good lessons, and good morals too. Yes, Samira, I'm so happy when my teacher cracks a joke. Then I remember the joke, I remember what he taught me, then I learn and progress in life. I'm so happy, yuppie, yuppie. 
and make shukar himarun say alhamdulillah because there's so many children out there who can't go to school and madrasa oh. say alhamdulillah himarun alhamdulillah alhamdulillah right now himarun let's go have some fun children let's go for a quick break while i get some books and when we come back himarun and i will read a story stay tuned mm -hmm. children himarun and i have a story for you and this one is called always say insha allah himarun say insha allah insha allah insha allah do you know what insha allah means himarun insha allah means god willing that's right masha allah it means if allah wills now let's read a story about it this story says Tabassum was leaving the classroom at home time when her friend Selma stopped to chat. I'm so relieved. I finally finished my maths assignment. How far have you gone? She asked. Tabassum smiled and said, Don't worry, there's plenty of time left. I'll do it on the long weekend. Selma rolled her eyes and said, I don't believe it. You mean you haven't started it? Yes, said Tabassum. I'm very happy, but I'll plan it over the weekend. Himarun, was Tabassum right to leave it for the weekend? Every day has its task. If you keep piling work, the weekend will be overcrowded. And trust me, even if you do it, you definitely would do it well. That's right. Let's go on with our story. Why not start tonight? asked Selma. We don't have any homework due. And besides, it's a long assignment. Believe me. I have better things to do, said Tabassum. She was starting to get irritated. I'm not wasting my free night doing my assignment. But Selma was very concerned. She advised her friend to rather start. But rather, she said, spread it out. Do a little today and a little over the weekend. That way you'll get it done. Selma said, I don't want to get it done, replied Tabassum. Say inshallah at least, said Selma. If you want to do it over the weekend, take Allah's name and ask Allah for help and then inshallah it will get done. Quit nagging, said Tabassum. Oh no, Himarun. Do you speak to your friends that way? It's quite rude. If I do that, my conscience will be pricking me. Yes, your conscience would prick you and then your friends would be sad with you. Let's go on and see what happens. Yuppie! Yuppie! Story time! Story time! I love it! <laughs> Selma felt very hurt by her friend's tone and she walked away after making salam. Tabassum replied to her salam and she realized that she hurt her friend with her harsh words. Selma didn't hold any grudges and the next day she carried on speaking to Tabassum like nothing happened. Until Monday morning, of course. The two girls met on their way to school. After exchanging salams, Selma asked Tabassum, So tell me, did you finally get down to doing that assignment? Not really, said Tabassum. As they strolled to school, she had told them how her weekend went. The unexpected had happened. Her family had to rush to the other side of Durban. That was very far away from where they were staying. Granny took ill. Besides looking after Granny, there were so many visitors and they had to fly back to Joburg again to be in time for school. So Tabassum had no time to do her homework. Besides that, she had gone straight to bed after performing Isha Sala. Selma reminded her that she had an assignment due. Her heart sank. She completely forgot. 
Oh no, she said. Why didn't I say inshallah when you reminded me? I can kick myself. Oh no, Salma, she replied. What am I going to do now? Well, there's nothing you can do, said Salma. Ask Allah to give you another chance, inshallah. Fortunately for Tabassum and with the help of their du'as, the teacher was absent that day. They made a firm promise that inshallah from then on, they would do their homework as soon as they got it and they wouldn't forget to say inshallah. Inshallah. That's right. What did they remember to say the next time? Inshallah. Inshallah. I will do my homework. Inshallah. That's right, inshallah. And when her friend reminded her the next time, she followed it. Children, will you remember to say inshallah? Inshallah, I hope so. But ah, oh, we've come to the end of another show. Don't worry, we'll be back again soon. Yeah, we will be back. We will be back. <laughs> Don't forget to email us on Samira at itvnetworks.tv. Hey Marun, why don't you greet the little ones goodbye? Inshallah, all oh my friends. Remember, we learned about teachers today. Teachers, children, children, teachers, 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 teachers. <laughs> and we will be back again. We will be back, Samira. Assalamu alaikum and tata. Bye-bye. Cuckoo.